Hey guys, welcome back to John's RC. So for this week's video, I have something really, really exciting to show you. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Real Flight Trainer Edition, which is Nightbed Software's uh, newest release on a Real Flight RC simulator. But this time, there's only Horizon Hobby Trainer planes. So as you can see, I'm on Horizon's website right now. And this is what it looks like on their web page. So this is what it says. It says Real Flight Trainer Edition for Steam download only. And I can't buy it from Horizon Hobby directly. And that's because you can only get it from Steam. So if you're not familiar with Steam, uh, you can just go to steampower.com and register a free account and then search up Real Flight Trainer Edition and you're good to go. So let me just go to the Steam page. So this is what it looks like on Steam. There is a, a slideshow of pictures. It says Real Flight Trainer Edition. So if you go down, uh, it shows all the aircraft included. There's six models. Five of them are airplanes and one of them are helicopters. So there's the Blade 230S, the E-Flight Apprentice, the E-Flight Habu STS 70mm EVF Jet, which is Horizon's, Horizon Hobby's newest release on a trainer plane. And there's also Hobby Zone's Aeroscout S, Hobby Zone's Carbon Cup S Plus, and Hobby Zone's uh, Sport Cup S. So if you scroll down even further, uh, it shows the system requirements. I'm not going to read it, but if you want to, you can just pause the video and read it. So, yeah. I also want to mention that if you buy this, obviously, uh, it doesn't come with a transmitter, so you're probably going to have to use a, a transmitter that came with a previous version of Real Flight, or you can use a Spectrum transmitter and use one of these. This is a WS-1000 dongle. Uh, I did a video on this in the past from my Real Flight 9 uh, review where I bound it and things like that. So basically what this does is it binds your Spectrum transmitter to your computer so you can fly uh, with Knife Edge Software's Real Flight simulators with your Spectrum transmitter. So yeah, let's hop into Real Flight Trainer Edition and see what it can do. Okay guys, so let's launch Real Flight. So to launch it, uh, after you purchased it, it should be in your games library. So on the top left corner, just select library and find Real Flight in there and then press play. So I just press play. <laughs> All right, welcome to Real Flight guys. Okay guys, so let's take a look around Real Flight. So as you can see, uh, when you first launch Real Flight Trainer Edition, it will start off with the E-Flight Apprentice STS, but we can change that with the menu on the side. So this is your select aircraft menu. Uh, this is the Blade 230S that I mentioned. And then you can also select through a couple different variants of the Apprentice STS, uh, four different variants of the new trainer, which is the E-Flight Habu STS 70mm EDF Jet. And you can also choose the Aero Scout, the Hobby Zone Carbon Cub S Plus, and Hobby Zone Sport Cub S. And as you can see, there's also three different options. So if you select this, it's your select airport menu. So there's only one field for Real Flight Trainer Edition, which is Eli Field. So yeah. And this is basically uh, your transmitter showcase. So whenever you move your transmitter in real life, it'll show up on this. So that's a really nice feature. And then this is your binocular function. So basically what this does is whenever your plane comes out of sight, the binocular function will pop up and it will show the plane closer. So let's start off with the E-Flight Habu. I'm going to start off with the Habu 70mm EDF jet with a landing assist. Alright. So I'm on safe with beginner. Let's take off. All right, the Habu is now in the air. There is no retracts or flaps to this, so yeah. It also looks like Safe is trying to cap my altitude. I can still go up, obviously, but uh, I can't go down, so. To go down, you just lower your throttle and 
but we'll start descending. There we go. All right. Yeah. So I can't really do much with safe beginner mode uh, because it limits your freedom in bank and pitch. So as you can see, I can't do a roll or loop or anything like that. So let's switch to intermediate mode. Just circle like here. It still caps uh, your altitude, but it looks like you can go a bit further down. And you still can perform something like a looper roll. As you can see, if I try to do a roll, let me just move my stick all the way to the left. It just stays there. I can't uh I can't really perform a roll yet. Alright. Let's switch to AS3X. So what AS3X does is basically it toggles safe off. So all those limitations you had before with safe are now gone. As you can see, I can go down freely. I can go up freely. I can do a roll. I can do a loop. I can do my aerobatics. Here's a low pass for you guys. So, yeah. And, uh, remember when I select the aircraft menu, I selected the Habu with LAS. So, basically what LAS is, it's landing assist. So, basically, whenever the sensor is close to the ground, the model will automatically flare up. But that only applies to uh, safe mode. So whenever you're toggled to safe mode, um, it will be activated. But as you can see, I am low to the ground right now, but uh, LAS isn't responding. And that's because safe isn't toggled. So let me try to land with LAS right now. Let me just switch to intermediate mode. Gonna take a while to descend, so let me just go a bit further out. So, as you can see, I'm not touching the sticks, and it's automatically flaring. Alright, let's reset. So, let's try a different variant of the Habu. Let's try the Habu with four cell. Alright, so I'm just going to take off with uh, AS3X mode, so let's just take off. I'm not going to be flying with LAS version because I don't really feel like it's needed. Alright, so with the 4-cell version, it's way faster, as you can see. Let's try to do a knife edge low pass. Oops, can't exactly do that with a trainer plane, but yeah. Let's do a vertical touch and go on the next pass. So I'm gonna do a vertical and then try doing touch and go. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm a bit too fast. So let's just do touch and go. All right. And also, when I did uh, the real flight life with Horizon Hobby, uh, the people from Horizon Hobby said that if you order the Habu now, it will come with uh, a couple of things, so obviously it will come with the model itself. But if you order the Ready to Fly package, it will also come with the transmitter for it. And it will also come with a WS2000 dongle for 
uh, your PC. And that's because it also includes a digital Steam code for Real Flight Trainer Edition. So that's really nice. Let's land and select a new model. Try to make this as smooth as possible. All right, just reset go back to our aircraft selection page and let's try to fly something that uh, I own in real life so let's fly the aeroscope let's take off with beginner mode oh this sounds exactly like how it sounds in real life so like I said I'm on beginner mode limited amount of freedom Bacon pitch. Oh, uh, with the Aeroscout, safe doesn't cap your altitude, so as you can see, I can do a low pass. Switch to intermediate mode. Wow. It looks very, very similar to the one in real life. Like, almost identical. Let's try to not go as far out. It's a bit hard to bank with safe, but... Alright, I'm switching to AS3X mode. And wow, this fly is really similar. The servo treble may be a bit higher. Uh, I don't recall the Aero Scout uh, doing rolls this fast. Yeah, the roll rate is really high for this. And the loops, uh, not loops, but the elevator servo treble seems a bit too low. So this is, this isn't, this doesn't fly as realistic as real life for the Aero Scout, but it is really close. Do some upside down. Perform a figure eight. going to be a very sloppy figure eight, but it's fine. Let's land it. Oops. I accidentally crashed there, but that's why the reset button is there. Alright, let's select a different model. Um, let's try the Hobby Zone Carbon Cub S+. Plus. I haven't flown this in real life yet. Alright. Taking off. I'm gonna do safe plus beginner. Just because I don't know how it's flying. Alright. Looks like it's capping my altitude. As you can see, I'm moving my stick, but I can't go down, so... Just lower throttle, I guess. Yep. So... 
I can do my circles, as you can see. I can do my circles a bit tighter this time, as you can see. I'll switch to intermediate mode. Uh, I still can't go down as much, but I still can go down a bit more. Uh, my freedom in my bacon pitch, it has a bit more freedom. Can't do a roll yet, can't do a loop yet. You can see. So let's just, just go to AS3X mode. Touch and go. Alright. Really quick touch and go. I'm gonna do a full throttle upside down low pass. This model has some power to it. Just do whatever this is. <laughs> Don't go too low. That would not be ideal in real life. Do a vertical. Oh, and I forgot to mention something about uh, Safe Plus. So with Safe Plus, you have a panic recovery function. So if I just go upside down and uh, switch this, as you can see, it'll go back to a level flight, and it'll just go into a holding pattern for me. Um, I'll just toggle it off. But yeah, that's a really cool function. Let's try it again. Uh, let's go down this time. Click it. Click it again once you're safe again. That's really nice. Okay. Uh, there's also flaps on here. No, they're not. Sorry. Okay, let's try the Sport Cub S. I also own this. I like to fly in my cul-de-sac sometimes. It's a really nice model. Let's just take off on AS3X. This is a great beginner model for uh, someone who has a park that's a bit smaller. Uh, you can fly this in smaller spaces. As you can see, I can like do really, really tight circles. Don't go too far. Don't lose sight of it. I mean, the binocular function is good, but... I try not to use the binocular function, uh, because it ruins the realistic feeling, because... Uh, if you go too far, I don't think there's gonna be, like, binoculars just there for you. And if I get close enough, I want to show you something, a really realistic part of this model. So let me just go a bit slower. Yeah. You can't really see it, but on the bottom, Knife Edge made it so realistic, so realistic that uh, you can see the one cell battery, the one cell 150 milliamp hour battery in there. Alright, let's 
do a quick little landing. And then I want to try out the 230S. Okay. Alright, let's try and fly the 230S. I also own this in real life. I'm gonna be on beginner mode because I don't know much about helicopters. Alright. So... In real life, uh... I only know how to hover and make it face different directions. I can occasionally do a circle, but I don't really like to do that. It's a bit scary for me. But, yeah. Right. But that's the but that's the cool thing about real flight. You can try different things uh, that you haven't done in real life. And if it goes successfully or not, you can get the courage to do it in real life. That's how I did some of my new my maneuvers in my planes. I tried it out in Real Flight 9 first, and then I got the courage to do it in real life. So, yeah. Face in. Still trying to learn to do this while the helicopter is still stable. Let's try a left circle. Alright, now let's try a right circle. Ah, don't want to go too close. Uh, for helicopters, I, for some reason, I'm better at left circles than right circles. That's a, that applies to my planes too, but only for my micros. For my micro planes, I seem to be doing better uh, at left circles than right, but for my bigger planes, such as the E-Flight Extra 300, uh, I'm used to my flight pattern from my flying field, so I like to go right. Alright, let's just find this. All right, so there is a training uh, part of real flight. So as you can see at the top part, uh, there's gonna be simulation, aircraft, environment, gadgets, recordings, trainings, view and help. So if you just go to training, flight training, uh, it's gonna show all these different things you can learn with the real flight virtual instructor. So as you can see, I did some of them. Actually, I only did one, but yeah. So let's just try this. Just begin. So let's just let it load. Okay, so let's just press. So welcome begin. to our first lesson for flight training, and uh and as you can see, uh, there's a virtual instructor that just teaches you how to do everything in real flight. Uh, I'm not gonna watch the entire thing, but uh, if you want to with your real flight trainer edition copy, uh, that's fine. So let me just go to lesson select, quit. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for uh, my review on Real Flight Trainer Edition. So if you like this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next video, guys.